Microsoft founder Bill Gates and investor Warren Buffett were again the wealthiest men in the world. But in this economy, even billionaires were playing a losing hand. Forbes magazine, in its annual ranking of the world's wealthiest, calls it a billionaire bust. 1,125 made the list of billionaires last year. This year, less than 800. The average billionaire worth nearly $4 billion a year ago is now worth $3 billion. The last time the, the billionaires around the world were that poor, and obviously I'm a little tongue-in-cheek when I talk about $3 billion being poor, um, but was back in 2003. And at the top of the list, there was a reshuffling of the deck as Warren Buffett fell out of first place. He had his worst year in the 44 years that he's been running Berkshire Hathaway. Buffett, who lost $25 billion, is now worth $37 billion. And Bill Gates reclaims the title of world's richest man, even though he lost 18 billion. Among the 20 richest people in the world, only one actually saw his fortunes improve. That was New York Mayor Michael Bloomberg, who reinvested in his Bloomberg network. In all, the U.S. lost 125 billionaires, but still has more than 350. Russia, which had 87, lost nearly two-thirds of those. India, which had 53 last year, is down to 24. So what these numbers show is that the pain of this recession is unrelenting and everywhere, from the bottom all the way to the top, Katie. Having said that, Anthony, a lot of people aren't going to feel real sorry for these folks, even no. though on average they lost about 25 percent of their wealth. That's but right. you say that's short-sighted. Yeah, because remember, two-thirds of these billionaires are self-made. They're the pioneering uh, businessmen, like Bill Gates, who created the companies that have created the jobs and the wealth in this country. So we want them to get richer, because when they do, we do. All right. Anthony Mason, thank you, Anthony.